Get a CloseCallSports.com, bottom of the ninth inning, bases loaded, tie game, one out. Watch this. As the umpires explain to the defensive team what has happened, the lights go out and the offensive team celebrates their win during the light show. Let's review this potentially complex play and see exactly what happened. Remember, base is loaded, so there's a force at any base on a ground ball, which this is. Fielded on one hop by the third baseman, steps on third base, retires the runner at second on the force out, so there are now two outs. The runner at third, no longer forced to advance to home plate, is running home and is caught in a rundown. The catcher will run this runner all the way back to third base. Remember the baseball rule that states that a runner, having been declared out, continues to advance or retreat, will not alone by that action be declared out for interference. That's what happens here. The umpire says, hey, that runner's already out. Now the defense knows that runner's already out, throws to third base for some reason, and doesn't throw to home plate to make a play on that runner. So the runner gets to score uncontested. Oh yeah, that's the winning run and the game is over. That's pretty much what happened. A momentary lapse by the defense, but remember, as an umpire, pre-plan the game, pre-plan the play, so you know that there's a force at any base on a ground ball, which this is, so you can immediately declare the out upon the fielder touching third base, and then all of this other stuff, if you just remember that the force has been removed on the lead runner, the, the penultimate runner, if you will, has already been declared out, and you just keep that in mind. So when the defense does this, you just signal, wait a minute, that runner's already out. Visit us online at CloseCallSports.com, Twitter and Facebook at CloseCallSports. Thanks for sending this play in. We'll see you on the site. Okay, okay, hypothetical case play. Let's assume that the fielder never actually tagged the base. If two runners are occupying the base at the same time, if there is a force play, the trail is forced to advance, the trail gets to touch the base. So you tag both, the lead is out. If there is no force play, then you tag both, the trail runner is out. Okay, force play, trail gets the base, no force play, lead gets the base. Hope that helps. But of course that's a hypothetical because in this situation, third baseman clearly did tag the base, putting the runner from second out. Okay, now for real, see you on the site, closecallsports.com. Hey Gil, what about obstruction? Uh, no. Uh,